Hello everyone in this video let us talk about uh, time tracking in uh, a next gen project. So I received one uh, question recently about enabling time tracking feature in a next gen project and it is actually now possible not really now but uh, this feature was not there initially and uh, as of uh, February 2020 you can actually uh, use time tracking feature in your uh, next gen project and let us see how it works so if you go to let us say one of your uh, next gen project uh, maybe i have this project called uh, marketing activities if i click on this project i can take a look at of course my backlog my board and uh, you need to first go to the project settings and then you need to go to the issue types where you have your uh, different issues so in this particular case i have my task and I also have my epic and subtask. So if you want to enable your uh, time tracking feature on the task level, so just select your issue type, in this case uh, task, and on the right hand side, uh, you have the option to use this field called uh, time tracking. So simply uh, click on this and this field will be added to you, uh, added to your project under task. And if you save your changes, you can then go back to your project. And now you should be able to use the time tracking and it is actually very straightforward. So let us see how it works. I'll probably go to my uh, backlog and uh, I may just create one more uh, ticket, not really a ticket in this case, a task, test issue. And uh, if I click on it, on the right hand side, I should be able to see this uh, time tracking uh, field where I can uh, maybe uh, enter my time remaining or time spent. So let us say you want to say that I have worked on this particular ticket for maybe one hour. So just uh, enter your time and uh, that is it. Uh, you can actually start using this uh, field straight away. And you can also uh, take a look at this issue create uh, screen you can do the same thing you can have maybe a new issue this is your new issue and uh, when you take a look at your uh, your uh, fields here so you don't really have the field here to configure to basically add the time tracking but uh, uh, you can actually uh, simply go to your issue when uh, your uh, your issue is already there on the board or maybe in the backlog and uh, you can st straight away you start using the uh, time tracking field. So you can add maybe more time here like two hours and uh, you can see here that the time tracking field will uh, display the information to you and you can also use the uh, option on top called log work. So this is actually uh, very simple and straightforward to do when you have uh, this time tracking field enabled. You can also create maybe a issue of different type. Maybe you want to create, let us say a subtask. So I'll probably go to this uh, child issue option. This is my child. And uh, you can of course create a child issue type. And when you click on it, you can then see here that uh, you don't have that uh, time tracking field enabled for you because you, you, you have not really added the field in your uh, in your uh, issue type so you can actually test it by going back to your project settings if you click on issue type let us add maybe one more issue type maybe i want to add my my bug so let us add bug here so we'll not enable the time tracking field for bug so uh, yeah we don't really have that field if i go back to my uh, my project and i take a look at my bug issue type I should not have the time tracking field. So let us create one bug very quickly in the same project. And uh, we can select the bug from the issue type drop down. This is my bug. And I just want to validate whether it uh, works as we want it to work. Because uh, the good thing about uh, next gen project is that uh, even though you are adding a new field, uh, you are still adding them to a specific issue type. So if I look at my next gen uh, projects bug without the time tracking field, I should not have the option to log my work. So there is no option here, but uh, if I maybe open this in a new window, 
I just want to quickly add this field and I just want to val validate whether it works or not. It works, definitely it works, but uh, it is just good to test it again. So I have this time tracking field added to my uh, to my to my uh, issue type bug and if i go to my project or i can just go back to the previous screen and if i do a refresh i just want to see how it looks like for my bug issue type after adding the field so after you add the field uh, you should have the ability to track your time so what all we can do here we can uh, see here that we have the option to log our log our time here and uh, I believe if you click on these three dots on uh, the top right corner, you can also log your work. And uh, this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.